Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here in Dili for the Global Conference on 2030 Agenda. Particular thanks goes to our international guests who have traveled a long way to be here with us. We are delighted to welcome you to Timor-Leste and I hope that you take away many lasting memories of our beautiful country. For those of you who have not visited Timor-Leste before, you are seeing a country that looked very different only 15 years ago. It was only 15 years ago that we took our first steps as a nation, restoring our independence and inaugurating our first president. On Saturday, 20th May, we inaugurated our fourth president since achieving independence, President Francisco Guterres Luolo. Our peaceful elections in March was another marker of Timor-Leste's consolidation of a stable democracy and another milestone in the process of nation building that we have been undertaking since 2002. Since taking those first steps, we have traveled a long road towards security, prosperity and development. We have had good friends in the international community who have worked with us and we are grateful to those friends for their support. Today, the conference gave us an opportunity to reflect upon our next 15 years as a nation. We will be guided by our strategic development plan which sets our vision for our nation, which is a healthy, well-educated and prosperous society with a diversified economy and good governance. The Sustainable Development Goals will support this journey. Today, we discussed at a high level our commitment and key resolutions. Tomorrow, we progress to technical meetings where we look to develop mechanisms for fragile and conflict-affected states to cooperate in order to implement these 17 Sustainable Development Goals. However, work together as a nation to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, eradicating extreme poverty, improving our children's health, lowering rates of maternal mortality, improving sanitation, and many more. We will continue to work with our friends, including our fellow G7 plus states, to achieve lasting peace and sustainable prosperity. And in the spirit of the Sustainable Development Goals, we must all work together as an international community to ensure that no nation is left behind. If one nation fails, we all fail. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow we have more work to do, but tonight I invite you to relax and enjoy our hospitality, including the Timorese produced beer, Bintan, and also the songs that were sung by, including the Timorese version of Whitney Houston. <laughs> I urge all our visitors to make the most of our time here, to contribute to a wonderful conference, as well as to gain a taste of what our country has to offer. We are proud of our nation. We sacrificed so much to achieve our independence. And so, we will also fight with all we have to make sure we will fulfill the promise of our future. There is a long journey ahead of us, but the road is best travel in the company of friends. As such, I invite you all to raise your glasses and have a toast for the success of the implementation of Sustainable Development Goals, particularly in the fragile and conflict-affected countries. Cheers to the Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you so much and please enjoy the rest of the evening with the Timorese dishes, the Timorese made beer and more to come in our music and in our culture. Thank you.